This is example 3.14 on page 114 of our textbooks, and here we're going to learn how to calculate the mass percent composition of a compound. So the question asks us to calculate the mass percent of chlorine in a chemical called Freon-112, which has the formula C2Cl4F2. Um, if you've looked in your textbook or have um, listen to our lesson. This is a type of CFC refrigerant, chlorofluorocarbon refrigerant, um, which helped to um, basically eat a hole in the ozone layer. So um, this is highly regulated compound now. So mass percent, the way that you calculate it, is to take the molar mass of the particular element that you're looking at, in this case chlorine, within the compound, um, take that over the molar mass of the entire compound, multiply by 100, and that's going to give you basically the percent um, of that element within the compound by mass. So the first thing we're going to do for this problem is to actually calculate the molar mass of Freon-112. There's two carbons, four chlorines, and two fluorines. So molar mass of C2Cl4F2 is going to be 2 times carbon's molar mass plus 4 times chlorine's molar mass plus 2 times fluorine's molar mass. Now if we multiply, out all of those together, you should get 203.8, and that's in units of grams per mole. <laughs> so, in our mass percent formula, on top goes the molar mass of our element in the compound. So that's going to be, since we have four chlorines, four times 35.45 grams per mole over the molar mass of the entire compound, which we just calculated, 203.8 grams per mole. And then we're going to multiply this whole thing by 100 because it is a percentage, so it needs to be in percentage. So 4 times 35.45 is technically 141.8 grams per mole, divided by 203.8 times 100 gives us a mass percent of chlorine of 69.58%. That's the mass percent of chlorine in Freon 112. Um, when you're solving this, technically, um, you should be paying attention to units and grams per mole and grams per mole both cancel because you're dividing the unit by itself, so they cancel out. So this number is a percentage and it is um, unitless. It doesn't have the gram per mole um, unit attached to it anymore. So that's how you solve for mass percent.